Hi, what are the two things that cost me more in Thailand than they did back home in the UK? Okay, we're getting professional now. This is the first video of it. Got some notes. Oh yeah. After my last uh, video went viral. <laughs> 245 views. Which I am incredibly grateful for. It's um, It had got, like all my other videos, it had got around 50 views. Um, which is about the number of people on my Facebook. And I I hadn't given up. I was still like, just from a creative point of view, like, oh yeah, I'm sure I'll do some more videos. But certainly um, any stories of it being worthwhile in terms of views or making some sort of YouTube channel, um, they were starting to dwindle. Um, the motivation in terms of that side of it was, was gone. Um, I had no intention of doing any more videos for a while. And then I woke up and checked my emails this morning and I just couldn't believe it. There were four comments on my last video. And then I clicked on it and it was 245 views and two new subscribers. So a huge, huge thank you to those two subscribers. It means so much. Like I have really started in the last six months when I'm watching YouTube videos. I like them a lot more, I subscribe a lot more, because I know, like, I know what it means to people, like, when you're starting out with something like this, and not that I have some massive goal, like, I've, yeah, it'd be great to have a YouTube channel, but, you know, it's not a huge goal in my life, I'm not that bothered, um, but the, yeah, the feeling when you're starting out, just to get that little bit of recognition is massive, so, yeah, thank you to those people who did subscribe, if anyone feels like give, leaving me a like or a subscription from this video, it would it would mean so much. Like honestly, this smile like it puts a smile on my face. Okay, so yeah, so what am I doing? I'm doing a breakdown between um, my my main costs, my main expenditure, what what it's costing me in Thailand, what it used to cost me in the UK, and I found two items that are costing me more in Thailand than they were in the UK. So I'm going to start with rent and bills. So the video that went viral, I'm sure you've all seen it, was, was the video of my house. My beautiful three bed house out in the mountains in Pai. Um, which I'm paying, including all bills, including the internet, water, electricity, the beautiful house, the garden, everything. I think I'm paying 370, I am, I am paying 375 pounds a month. Um, which is just incredible. Um, so I've written down what the equivalent would be in the UK and then what the standard would be in the UK. Because if I was living in the UK, I wouldn't be renting a three-bed house. Uh, I'd be renting a flat. <laughs> Oof, God. Um, so the equivalent to this in the UK would be about £1,500. Um, the standard in the UK would be about £800. So if I was renting a flat in the UK, I reckon I'd be spending about eight hundred pounds, including no bills. That I mean, that's low. That would be a that would be a hellhole of a flat. Um. So yeah, I reckon I'm about five hundred pounds savings, five hundred pounds up by living in Thailand. Food. Well, yeah. So food is is just obviously amazing out here. So it's actually cheaper to eat out than it is to cook out here. There's just no no point cooking unless you want to enjoy cooking for the sake of cooking <sighs> the hobby of cooking <laughs> um yeah so i i reckon i'm spending about 10 pounds a day so i eat out every time and i'm not scrimping so if you wanted to you could you could eat for a pound a meal you could easily eat you could eat for two pounds a day if you had two meals a day you could actually eat for two pounds a day but i'm eating well i'm enjoying life i've put down 10 i'm probably spending 12 actually Oh, I've missed off coffee. Yeah, coffee's a big one. Let me just add coffee on. That's about the same, isn't it? Um, yeah, so food, I reckon I'm spending about £12 a day, but I'm eating out all the time, three times a day. So if I was to do that in the UK, I've put down £40, like £12 a meal. Like, you'd have to really target your restaurants and research your restaurants and find some good details deals to eat three times in restaurants for 40 pounds a day uh, so then i put your standard as 15 pounds a day like if you were cooking yourself in the uk which obviously everyone does because no one can afford to live in the uk um i was probably spending about 15 pounds a day on ingredients from the supermarket 
to then cook with at home. Phone, I'm on a SIM only deal out here. Cancelled my UK contract, kept the phone and got a SIM only tie deal, which gives me everything, minutes, internet, a lot for six pounds a month. I don't think that's much different. Um, gift gaff in the UK is, I don't know, is, I, I put 10 pounds a month down in the UK, so saving four pounds a month, but I don't know, it might be about the same. Beer is quite a shocking one. Beer is about the same. Now, I'm not a big drinker, I'm much more of a smoker. Um, but your basic, your basic beers out here, your Leos, your Changs, and your Singers, uh, they come in two size bottles. I've only ever bought the big ones, which I reckon is a pint and a half, maybe two pints, probably a pint and a half. <coughs> so in your shop, your standard price for those is 55 baht, 55 to 70 baht. So 75p to one pound. Uh, now this is, this is basic bullshit lager. This is not much better than Carlin. It's probably slightly better than Carlin or Foster's. It's probably San Miguel type styles. Um, so yeah, if you buy it from a shop, let's say 75p a pint. Uh, if you're in a in a in a bar in Chiang Mai, I found it was 140 was the standard, so that's three pounds fifty for a pint and a half. Um, in Pai, I found it's a bit cheaper. If you search out your bars, I found a hundred, so that's two pounds fifty for a pint and a half. So it is cheaper, but it's it's yeah. If you if you're into your ales, you're gonna struggle in Thailand. Like there are a few bars that do craft ales, but you're gonna be paying a lot. You're gonna be paying at least. 300 baht and um, so that's seven pound fifty you might get it a bit cheaper but yeah you, you're definitely not going to be making a huge saving if you like your beer or all all drinks um i've only had one cocktail i've had a mojito again i searched out a cheaper bar 100 so that's two pound fifty so yeah i think if you're going to drink cocktails probably about a third of a price but beers don't know about wine uh, but yeah, I was quite shocked at how expensive, you know, if you, if you want to drink, if you want to go out and, and have nights out here, it's, it's going to add up your, I think that's what gets expats. Like in terms of cost of living, my, my, my expense is cannabis. Um, I think most people's is alcohol and it's, it's not cheap out here. Oh, the next one, not for everyone, but conscious events. Now I've not done many of these yet. I've, uh. Yeah, I've just been taking time for me and I did a lot of this in the UK and a lot of uh, rejection issues going on with a conscious conscious community for me. So um, yeah, definitely taking my time on this one, but I've been doing a bit of research. Yoga class seems to be about five pounds. In the UK, I think that would be eight. Um, your biggest ceremony is where you get saved. I mean, there was a Tantra event. I couldn't believe this. It was a Tantra event, three days. I think they must have got the, put the price down wrong because it was three days, included food, and maybe even accommodation. I think it was something like £27. Um, so I think that might have been a typo, but I've seen an ayahuasca ceremony out here for 150 In the UK, I was paying 500 Um It was with the Honeyquin tribe as well. So, you know, very good reputation. Um, yeah, that would be five hundred pounds in the UK. Um, so yeah, definitely think conscious events are going to be cheaper. Um, yeah, I would say about half the price. Big one for me is cannabis. Oh, just fantastic, just fantastic. I mean, oh. I mean, I just always said about living in the UK. If I could choose my strain, my mental health would be so different. Like. To actually be able to choose the strain that works for you, like rather than just getting what you're given. Um, so yeah, the whole experience is just tremendous. Being able to just go into a shop and see all the different types, whether they're sativa, whether they're indica, what's, what percentage of THC is, what percentage of CBD is. Mega. So I'm buying in bulk, I'm buying 30 grams at a time, and I'm paying 4,000 baht, which is 100, uh, 100 pounds. <coughs> I'm getting like grade B. I'm getting like, it is top shelf, but it's not the best of the top shelf. But I'm gonna upgrade uh, to the grade A. 
uh, which is 4,500 baht, so 125 pounds, 30 grams of the best, 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 best. Um, the only, only cannabis I've ever come across that's better than it is Californian. Uh, but in terms of UK, it's it's top end of the market. It's what you'd be paying 220 an ounce for. I reckon I was I was paying about 180 an ounce. Sometimes in droughts up to 200. Uh, but I reckon the standard street price um, for what I'm getting out here in the UK is 220, maybe 250 in some parts. Certainly, yeah, in London. I mean, London's insane, isn't it? Like 300 pounds an ounce or something. I'm talking, yeah. So I'm talking Northern English prices here. I should clarify that. <laughs> I was living in Halifax, Sheffield. And then Halifax. So yeah, we're not making any comparisons to the South or well, London isn't even the UK anymore, is it? Let's let's not mess around. Um, medication. I don't really know why I put this one in here because I just you know I don't do medication. <laughs> I just see it all as poison. Uh, and the reason I did mention it actually is just to mention how easy it is. So there was one. Yeah. The, oh God, I hate antibiotics so much. But there's one situation I've had in my life that. Uh, it's just I would I would just take antibiotics in a second if I knew this was happening again, and it was a a mouth infection. And the first time I had it about five years ago, six years ago, it was agony. And I I I'm, I went to I went to A and E, and they I can't remember what they did, but they did fuck all. They gave me I think they gave me something that didn't work. I think I went to my GP. They didn't know what to do. After five days, I was in agony. I was in so much pain. I ended up snorting cocaine for the first time in like, I think it was two years. I just, I, I, it had left my life. And I was in so much pain. The only way I could escape it was, was to snort cocaine. And then I went to my dentist and he gave me the right, the right antibiotics and it went in two days. But it took like, oh man, I think, I mean, it was probably more than five days, but it took like three or, <laughs> three or four days of going around different health professionals trying to get the answer. Anyway, the same thing happened to me in Thailand. I couldn't believe it. I knew exactly what it was straight away. I put up with it for a couple of days because I didn't want to take any antibiotics. But on the third day, it was getting. I just knew. I just knew I had to. Anyway, so I went into a pharmacy. They knew exactly what to give me. Five pounds. Bang. Took 30 seconds. <laughs> I've heard that from um, many other travellers I've been speaking to who... A, bit, a story I've heard from a couple of people is like they panicked about their whatever poisons they're taking that they think are saving their lives. I think this woman was antidepressants. Um, she stocked up on them back home, paid a lot of money for them back home, thinking she won't be able to get them out here. And then it turned out, you know, she could get them for 50 pence for the whole pack out here or something like that. So, yeah, medication is way cheaper, um, way easier to get. I have used a medical service, actually. I had a Veruca removed, and it was a fantastic service. I paid £75. I got straight in. I did try to book in in the UK, and it was four weeks waiting list. I didn't even ask what the price was. I think the price would probably be about the same, maybe a little bit more, but it also included four aftercare sessions, which were included in the price. So, yeah, definitely cheaper in the UK. And just a great service. Just a really, really good service. <clears throat> Clothes, um, what have I bought? Not much. I paid £2.50 for this t-shirt. Yeah. So, um, what, this is this is a £10 t-shirt in Matalan? £12 t-shirt, maybe? So, yeah, quite saving, really. Mushrooms. Yeah, magic mushrooms. I'm about to delve into this now that I've got this incredible... Oh no, I've just ruined my setup. So my setup is, this is how amateur we are at the minute. Oh no, we've gone wonky now. My setup is a microwave and I had a pair of scissors jammed in. <clears throat> to stop the wonkiness, let's try uh, a Vizsla Roach packet, see if we can save the day. Mm, yeah, I think we're there. Anyway, hopefully you got to see that. So obviously I need to take some hallucinogens. I really want to take acid. Like acid is the one that appeals to me. Like I've done so many plant medicines. I've done a lot of self work. And right now the place I'm in is like, I don't really want to delve into anything. Like I'm happy to, and I'll take some mushrooms. And I don't think I'll even, I don't think that much will even come up, but, and if it does, I'm happy to delve into it. But 
I really do just want to sit and be like, oh, the sky is beautiful. Mm, uh, mm. I mean, yeah, for me, that's acid. So, mushrooms are turning out to be... Hmm, he's asking for 1,200 for 5 grams. I reckon I can get him down to 1,000. So that will be 200 grams, so that will be 5 pounds a gram. So that's the same, isn't it? I was paying 160 for an ounce, which is 5 pounds a gram. 140 an ounce would be 5 pounds a gram. So, <clears throat> so yeah, it's a little bit cheaper. Um, the acid, however... Oh, dear, I mean... Only initial inquiries, I've only spoken to one supplier so far, but he's telling me it's £25 a tap. I'm sure I was paying £5 a tap in the UK. <coughs> Plus, I really don't want to... Oh, shit, this was the big reveal. This was the big, like, oh, guess what, guys? Which is one of the two items that costs more? In... And it's all meant to be the whole point of the video and, like, the exciting ending. And I've just got into it. Um, we'll save the next one. <laughs> um, yeah, and I'm not even like in the UK. I wouldn't even be taking tabs. I'd, be, I'd actually have the liquid, which is just so much better because it doesn't have that. I forget the name of it, but that chemical in it that stops it from evaporating from the tabs that makes it all a bit. Um, all right, we'll save the other one thing that's costing me more. Cosmetics I've no idea about. I don't buy any cosmetics. I don't use shampoo, shower gel, deodorant. The only thing I use is toothpaste, the fluoride feed toothpaste. Uh, so I haven't bought any cosmetics. I don't know. Um, only other little things is, is fruit based. I eat a lot of fruit. So yeah, I mean, so I used to drink a lot of coconut water in the UK. It's about the same price, but I was buying it in a carton out of Aldi. Definitely not organic. Oh, actually, it was organic. It was Aldi and Lidl. It was Lidl. Lidl sell organic coconut water for like 80p, don't they? Or maybe it's always oh, it £1.80. I can't remember, but it was. I remember think, feeling like it was good. Anyway, now I buy a coconut every day and I pay 40 baht. So I pay. In Chiang Mai, I was paying 30 baht. So I was paying 75p. In Pai, I'm paying a pound for a coconut. And I just pour it into my smoothie every day. And that's the base of my smoothie, like all oh, this fresh. Presumably organic coconut water, like... Oh, we're having a wonky camera. Apparatus issues. So that's just a joy. More than the cost, it's just like the... The realness. <laughs> just like actually getting a coconut every day rather than a carton. Uh, mangoes, 35p. Watermelon, £1.50 for half of a massive one. Coffee... About the same, £1.50 for a good speciality coffee. You can pay 50p, but it tastes like bog water. Um, £1.50 will get you a good cup. If I, if I go into a place and they ask for 40 bar, I'm like, oh, I don't think I want a coffee here. If they ask for 60 bar, I'm like, yeah. If they ask for 70 or 80, I'm like, this is going to be good. If they ask for more than that, then I'm like, you're taking a piss. Um, okay, so... Da, 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 da. What's the one thing? Now one thing, because I've already revealed the other thing. Okay, the one thing I'm paying considerably more for is... Rolling papers! So back home, I used to buy a box of them. Raw is my favourite band. These are actually the tips, because I've used all the papers. I used to pay £18 for a box of, I think it was 50. 50p a pack. Not even that, 40p a pack. Ooh, what are these costing me? These are costing me 50 baht, so that's £1.25. That's like three times more. So I'm no longer using raw. If I wanted to use raw, what do they want for raw, man? I think they want like 100 baht for raw. They want like £2.50 for a pack of raw. So I've tried to buy the box. Of, people tell me that Thailand has a Amazon equivalent Yes, I know, we all hate Amazon, yeah, it's the devil, but fuck me, it's easy. And, um, yeah, they tell me that Lazada is the Amazon equivalent. It's not, it's crap. It's absolutely crap. I've had, I've had stuff not turn up. It's very hard to get it in English. I find it very hard to get it in English. Um, anyway, and it doesn't have, it doesn't have boxes of rolling paper. It has rolling papers, but not boxes. 
even more for shops have boxes. So yeah, that's the one thing that I'm paying more for so far. I've just thought of something else that I should have really included my scooter. I'm paying um, 2,700 baht a month. So that is 57 pounds a month. Petrol, it cost me 100 baht to fill up my scooter, two pound 50. Um, at the moment, that doesn't last me long because I'm living very rurally and town is 20 minutes away. And so I'm filling up every two days. In Chiang Mai, I was filling up every four days. Um, so yeah, I was spending about five pounds a week on petrol. So yeah, huge, huge. Um, it's 30 baht a litre. It's 30 to 50 baht a litre. So that's 75p to one pound 10 a litre. Yeah, considerably cheaper. So yeah, it's a no-brainer. It's the, the only question is is how to earn an income out here or how to earn an income back home and bring it out here, or how to trust the universe enough that an income will come. Yeah, they, those are the only questions. There's no there's no other questions on whether living in Thailand is better than England. We're just talking about money here. We're not, we're not even mentioning um, quality of life, weather, people, no woke agenda. No uncontrolled immigration. Just so... Yeah, anyway, this was a video about money. So there it is. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the subscriptions. Thanks for the likes. Please, please, please. It means so much. Big love. Thank you.